have not only renewed our friendship and brotherly ties, but more importantly, they have reinvigorated our bilateral relationship. Your Excellency, the friendship between our two countries and peoples goes back to the days before independence with many people from the Shona community who are now recognized and regularized as Kenyan citizens settled in our country in 1960. So ladies and gentlemen, today we have held fruitful deliberations touching on a number of bilateral and regional matters of mutual interests. We have agreed to review the issues on our bilateral air service agreement in order to allow our people to travel between our two countries more freely. After a break of more than 20 years, the third session of the Joint Permanent Commission for Cooperation has also been convened here in Nairobi and a number of actions that are key to the envisioned consolidation of our political, social, cultural cooperation have been agreed upon. Underpinning these actions are seven memorandums of understanding that have been signed, which will go a long way towards deepening our diplomatic, economic, and people-to-people -people cooperation and enable us to work together to address critical issues, in particular those related to youth employment and women empowerment. The said MOUs include an MOU on political and diplomatic consultation, an MOU on cooperation in the field of tourism and wildlife conservation, an MOU on cooperation in the field of civil aircraft accidents and serious incidents investigations, an MOU on cooperation in the promotion of women empowerment and community development, an MOU on cooperation in the field of youth affairs, an MOU on the promotion of cooperatives, an MOU on the cooperation in the field of sports and recreation. Our technical teams are under instruction to expedite the the implementation of the actions that have been agreed upon today and we are very keen your excellency to build on this historic visit to establish a strong and vibrant partnership between our two countries the mou on cooperation in promotion of women empowerment and community development in particular is of significance to us as we celebrate the international women's day yesterday we all rededicated ourselves to scaling up the efforts to achieve gender equality and to strengthen women empowerment. This MOU will go a long way in realizing this important development agenda. It seeks to promote a closer working relationship between our two countries in achieving the shared vision of women empowerment and community development and also facilitate the sharing of knowledge strategies and technology for our women. We have also continued to emphasize our strong determination to continue with our support of Zimbabwe against the illegal sanctions that have been imposed on that country and continue to cause undue problems, issues, and trouble for the people of Zimbabwe and this we consider to be unfair for these hardships are artificially created and we continue to call on the international community to remove these illegal sanctions. As I conclude your, your Excellency, allow me to say how pleased we are that Zimbabwe has been elected as a member of the African Peace Union, African Union Peace and Security Council for the next two years, starting on the 1st 
of April 2022. We offer our hearty con congratulations and assure you of Kenya's support during your tenure. Once again, Your Excellency, we welcome you to Kenya and your delegation and your commitment to continue enhancing not only the bilateral relations between our two countries, but the solidarity of our brothers and sisters across the African continent.